I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an application of Pascal's triangle. We will look into tetrahedral numbers in this particular video. The question before us is, oranges can be piled in a tetrahedral shape. The number of items in such a stack are known as tetrahedral numbers. Relate the number of oranges in the nth pile to entries in the Pascal's triangle. What is 12th tetrahedral number? You can pause the video, figure this out, and let me try to make a pile like this with oranges and then figure out the numbers. Now let us try to make a pile of oranges. Well, we can begin with just one. So in the first pile, we have one. Now if I have to make the second pile, then in that we could have three at the bottom, right, like this, and one over them. So in the second pile, we have four oranges, correct? How to make the third pile? Well, in the third pile, it could be something like this. We may have six here, right? We may have six here, three over them, right where there's an intersection. You see that? Yeah. And six and three, nine, and one, ten. So in the third pile, we have ten. And like this, we can go on. Well, at least we have a pattern. Now let's work with this pattern and figure out a rule. We just saw how we can make a pile of oranges which will give us the tetrahedral numbers. Now let us create a table to record and then find the uh, relation between the numbers and uh, Pascal's triangle, right? So let's do that. So let us say that we put number of piles here and then we'll say number of oranges. Now in the very first pile we had just one orange, correct, to begin with. So it's kind of like this. We had just one orange to begin with, right? In the second one, how many did we have? We could place three in the bottom and then put one on top of them, creating four. So we had four in the second pile. In the third pile, what we did was that we actually placed six at the bottom, right? So we had six at the bottom. At each intersection, we could place three, six and three, nine, and then we could place one on the top of it. So that made us 10, right? So that gave us the number 10. So that is the pattern in which the numbers were counted, correct? Now that is how you could do it. Now if you extend this, then what is going to happen? We'll see that part, correct? Okay, so let's see the pattern how we got these numbers. First, we had just one to begin with. Then we had three plus one or one plus three, right? So we had one plus three that gave us the number four and after that we added six to them right so we get one plus three plus six and that gave us the number ten so once we have six here at that time we could now add if i make the next one ten more into it so in the fourth pattern we are going to get twenty adding 10 more. If you add this, so you'll get 1 plus 3 plus 6 plus 10. You'll get a number 20. Well, this is kind of doubtful. We really didn't do it. But uh, let us check with our Pascal's triangle. Okay. So what I will do here is I'll now create the Pascal's triangle and then we'll see if there is some relation. Beginning with 1, it goes down 1, 1 and then 1, adding these 2 gives me 2, then 1, 
and then 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 1 is 3, this is 1, and then 1, 3 plus 1 is 4, 3 and 3 is 6, 3 plus 1 is 4, the fifth row 1, 4 plus 1 5, 4 plus 6 10, 6 plus 4 10, I didn't write 1 here, 1 plus 4 5, and then 1 again, and if I go further down, 1 plus 5 6, 5 plus 10, 15, 10, 10, 20, 10 and 5, 15, 5 and 1, 6, and then 1. Correct? Now you'll recall that we call this as our diagonal 0, right? This is our diagonal 0. And this is our diagonal number 1. That is diagonal number 2. This is diagonal number 3. Now, if you look into the third diagonal, then the numbers are 1, 4, 10, 20, right? So, these numbers are 1, 4, 10, 20, and so on. Now, that is the diagonal which, which has all the tetrahedral numbers. So, this is, this is the diagonal we are looking for. So this diagonal has all tetrahedral numbers. I hope you remember what the numbers in the diagonal before the number. So before this, diagonal 2 is triangular numbers. Right? So I hope you see a relation. So the diagonal 3 in our case gives all the tetrahedral numbers. So that is how we get it. Now one way is we can straight away write down how many oranges from this diagonal itself. So if we are talking about four piles that is to say if n is 4 then the total is 20. If n is 3 total is 10. So this is 10. Let's relate 10. When we say 10, the number comes from, this one is 5th row, 0, 1, 2, 3. Diagonal is 3, 5th row. So for 4, I mean for 3, we get 5th row. So this term number is T5, 3. So for nth row, what do you expect? This is 2 more, right? Let's see where 20 is. Well, 20, let me use another ink. 20 is the 6th row, 0, 1, 2, 3. So here, the term number is, I mean, for 4, T of 6, 3. It is 2 more. And therefore, for nth row, what do we expect? It should be n plus 2, third diagonal. Perfect. So that is our formula. So tetrahedral numbers are on diagonal 3 and they can be given as T n plus 2 3 where n is the number of piles. Correct? So if you have to calculate the value without making the triangle we can use the combination formula C n plus 2 3. So that gives you the answer. So I hope that makes some sense. Tetrahedral. So that is how all these diagonals are. 5. Piles of file is the next one. So all the diagonals could be used in this kind of piles and their counting. I hope that makes sense. So now, can you calculate the 12th tetrahedral number? Well, replace n with 12 and this calculate. So we'll use C. 12 plus 2, 3. That means C, 14, 3. Perfect. You can use your calculator to calculate this answer. So we have on the calculator, 14 C, 3 normally will place. So 14, shift. And the function is NCR, which is written here. And then 3 equals 2. The answer is 364. Perfect. Or you could use the formula 14C3 means 
14 factorial divided by 14 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial. So that will also give you the same result. So I like you to calculate using the formula and verify. But I hope you understand and appreciate how we can use Pascal's triangle to find tetrahedral numbers and uh, you've already seen so many other applications. You can click on the links which I have provided to get into details of applications of Pascal's triangle. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Feel free to write your comments, share your views and if you like and subscribe that will be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.